Think of all the conversations you have each day. You talk to people, text friends, post images on Instagram or other social media sites. You are constantly exchanging ideas and evaluating information you read or images you see. Academic research is the same thing, a conversation. Imagine your friends are already talking when you join them. You wouldn't just blurt out a word without understanding what is being talked about. You listen to figure out what people are saying and who's saying what. Once you have a sense of what's being discussed and what you want to add, then you join the conversation. With research, you're learning the conversation by reading, watching, discussing, or even interviewing. Make sure you aren't just hearing one loud voice, though. Explore multiple sources so you get multiple perspectives on a topic. You'll even begin to notice when there are voices missing from the conversation. Perhaps you can be that voice. As you learn the conversation, keep track of who's saying what, decide which ideas you agree or disagree with, and look for ways to build your own ideas. It's important to represent authors' perspectives fairly and accurately. Give these sources credit when you use their ideas and include them in your bibliography or list of references. As a college student, you contribute to the scholarly conversation by writing papers, giving presentations, making videos, posting on social media, and sharing with classmates. You aren't the first person to talk or write about most topics, and probably won't be the last. That's why viewing your work as part of a conversation is so important. Listening to others will help you find your own insights and make your contribution more meaningful and valued. So, when you are assigned a paper or presentation, don't just show up and say things. Make sure you know the conversation. Not sure where to start exploring the conversation on your topic? Ask a librarian. Thank you.